Creating a new document in Affinity is super simple. So you can see here, we've opened the app and we're on the welcome screen. We've got a few different presets here and we've got some tutorials down here. Now this is the home tab. If you do wanna see your recent documents, you've got everything listed here. There's a few tutorials here that you can click to download and install and watch. Ooh, we'll come back to you later. I'm sure you're very helpful. Now, if you do need to go back home, I've opened a file here. I don't know what I've opened. Just click on the A Affinity logo and then boom, you're back. So learn, we've covered that already. My templates, this is where you can save different types of Affinity templates. I'm not sure what this is. I've not played around with it yet. So I'll play around with that and make another video. And favorites, again, that's something that I'm not really sure what it is, but I'm sure you can favorite certain things. So if you want to open a document, we've got the folder icon here but we're gonna create a new one. So let's click on the big green plus and we've got lots of different presets. So we can scroll down and we've got CMYK, we've got photo, canvases, video, devices, all this stuff. I do wish there were some tabs along the top, but I'm not gonna to complain too hard. Now we can create a preset over here as well. And ooh, what does this do? Oh, okay, that just kind of collapses and expands the panel. Now we can change our units. So let's say I wanna go for pixels. We can then adjust the width. So 1920 by 1080. Resolution, we can change that here. We've got these kind of stop points for very popular ones like good old 72 DPI, nice. Color format, RGB, CMYK, color profiles. You can choose if you want to have a transparent background or not. So transparent background is very much like Photoshop. Illustrator by default has a solid color. So I think I'm gonna leave that off. Artboards, yes, that's gonna be very useful. So we'll have that on. Image placement. So when you're placing images, you can link to the original source file or you can just embed it into the document, which will make things easier, but maybe make the document a bit bigger. So we'll leave that embedded for now. Uh, we'll ignore these two. We'll go down to margins. These can be very useful if you do want to have like a, a margin or a bit of padding, some spacing around the edge of your document. Bleed, this is usually pretty essential for print if you are gonna be printing to the edge of a page. And drawing scale, I've got no idea what that is. Something that I don't understand. <laughs> There's a ratio. So once you've created and set up your document with all the right settings, you can simply go ahead and click the big blue button, create. And then there we go, we have our new document. And you can see here that it's loaded as a tab as well. So I've obviously accidentally opened this lovely thing here and we can just close that down with the X or we can press Command or Control W depending on whether you're on Mac or PC to close that down.